osteolysis of the distal clavicle. Here is the bony anatomy around the shoulder. You can see the clavicle and you can see the acromion and you can see the AC joint. And you can see the osteolysis of the clavicle. Osteolysis is bone erosion. The bone is dissolving or lost. There is a localized area of inflammation, hypremia, microfracture, bone resorption, and eventually arthritis of the AC joint. The condition affects the distal end of the clavicle due to micro stress fractures. It typically affects young male patients. It occurs from activities that require overhead heavy lifting, repetitive motion, and the use of a jackhammer. The condition is also common in weight lifters. Examination. Patient will have localized pain, swelling, and tenderness over the AC joint area. Positive cross-body abduction test. 90-degree flexed arm is abducted across the chest to the opposite side. And this is the area of pain and tenderness. Imaging. X-ray shows erosion of the outer end of the clavicle, and the acromion is okay. You may see osteopenia, osteolysis, tapering, and cystic changes of the clavicle. An MRI may be obtained to rule out additional shoulder pathology. MRI will show high signal in the distal clavicle. What is the best radiological view for the AC joint? It is the Zanka view. The beam is directed with cephalad angle of 10 degrees and you will use 50% penetration. And this is how the Zanka view will look like. This is the clavicle and this is the acromion and you see the Zanka view of the AC joint. Clavicle osteolysis can be assessed using the Zanka view. The acromion will be normal with the abnormality isolated to the distal clavicle. Zanka view is also used for the diagnosis of arthritis of the AC joint. It will show osteophytes and joint space narrowing. The finding of the X-ray may not represent the patient real symptoms. Differential diagnosis, erosion or absence of the distal ends of the clavicle may be seen in a wide range of conditions. These conditions can be bilateral or unilateral. Bilateral erosions can occur in hyperparathyroidism, in rheumatoid arthritis and scleroderma. Unilateral erosion can occur in post-traumatic osteolysis, in myeloma, in metastasis, and in osteomyelitis. Treatment. Rest, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, ice and activity modification. Injection. The injection can be blind injection or ultrasound-guided injection. How about the blind injection? You can see here the technique of blind injection. You go between the clavicle and the acromion. How about the ultrasound guided injection? It's probably much easier to do ultrasound guided injection and you'll be absolutely sure you are in the joint. The joint is small and it may be difficult to inject that joint blindly. How about surgery? Surgery is done if pain persists despite conservative treatment. Patient will have arthroscopic or open resection of the distal clavicle. Arthroscopy allows for evaluation of the entire shoulder joint. Open surgery must repair the trapezius and deltoid fascia adequately. Surgery is successful in about 90% of cases. Resect 5 to 10 millimeter of the bone of the clavicle. Keep the posterior superior ligament intact. 
because it maintains most of the horizontal stability of the clavicle. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.